Welcome back to Painted Paradise. Welcome back to Painted Paradise. Today we're going to be teaching you how to paint a palm tree. I'm going to start off by making a basic structure that I can work from. It's going to look like a stick sticking out of the stand with a couple lines coming out of it. Now that we have our structure, let's fill it in with some black. I'm gonna fill in the trunk and then I'll do the branches next. I'm just putting a small amount of paint on my brush and then making small dabs as I go up the trunk. Now it's time to add the palms. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually turning my brush sideways and using the sharper point of my brush to just make small strokes. And that way it looks more like the leaves and it's a way for me to be a little bit more precise. This is the part that's really going to make your palm tree come to life and look very realistic. So take your time and just make sure to get a little bit of definition on this part. Now the reason the first color we used was black was it's a great layer to add shadows to whatever you're painting. So in this particular drawing this is going to give you a nice under layer for you to work with. And that'll just about do it. Now we're going to go ahead and add some color. So first we'll start with some green. Do exactly what we just did with the black. We're going to go over the palms and just add this color and it's going to just add a little extra something to that under layer that you showed and the black layer will start looking like more like a shadow and the green is going to make is going to look more like the leaves this technique of layering different layers of color is what makes a uh, painting look more realistic When you feel like you've added enough color, go ahead and move on to the trunk. I'm going to start using a brown and a gold mixture of paint and start painting in a little bit of details on the trunk. Now you don't have to be perfect because you're doing a wood grain. So if there are some of the black spots showing through, that's just fine. It's just going to look like a shadow on the trunk. If you're painting along, put those brushes down just long enough to hit the subscribe button. And also click the little bell icon so you don't miss any of the new videos coming out. Now that I have those details in there, I'm gonna add in some gray, just to give it a feeling of depth. Acrylic paint dries a lot faster than oil paints. So if you feel like you've made a mistake, it's okay to take a moment, let it dry, and then paint over it and try again. In fact, many famous paintings have an underpainting, where the artist was frustrated with the original painting, painted over it, and then painted their masterpiece. So who knows, maybe this is your masterpiece. The color's looking good for me, so I'm gonna go in and add the last details I'll use the black paint and paint the ridges going up the trunk. If you've been painting along, now you're going to be able to put palm trees all over in your tropical paintings and they're going to look fantastic. In following videos, we're going to cover how to draw some sand, add in some ocean, some mountains, rocks and other jungle foliage just to make your paintings really pop. Well, I hope you guys liked that video. And if you did, here's some more you can watch.